everyone knows that the Carboniferous period of the Earth history is associated with coal deposits formed in places with lush tropical forests, the marine life of the period was no less fascinating. Shallow seas of that period were full of various life forms. Today, we will show you a bunch of very interesting specimens found in Texas. Among them are quite unusual fossils, which I'm sure you will see for the first time in your life. In fact, I will offer you a deal. If you will not see at least five new species that you never knew about before, you can dislike the video. But if you do see five or more new fossils, push that like button, okay? Let's begin. We will show the name of the species on the screen and hope that you will enjoy and appreciate the beauty of these unusual, odd, and even bizarre organisms that lived 300 million years ago. Conularia is a strange creature with debatable classification. It has a pyramidal form. The tip was attached to the ground and the wider side had tentacles. It has an unusual rectangular symmetry. That's a similar creature, Paraconularia. Crinoids, also known by the common name sea lilies, are quite common. They resemble sea stars attached to the seabed with the long segmented stems. The part with tentacles is called a crown. This is the lower part of the crown, called the cup. And this is the upper one with tentacle-like structures called arms. They are used to catch small food particles. Every piece or segment of a crinoid's body has a specific scientific name. Not all crinoids were attached. Some of them were floating, and these are cups of floating crinoids. Notice that its tip is smooth, with no stem attached, but the pentagonal symmetry still obvious. We will return to the diverse crinoid parts later in our next video. Let's look at another creature called Lingula. The shell of a Lingula looks like a pumpkin seed. There is a hole for a foot called a pedicle. These animals appeared 400 million years ago, and they still can be found lining near the shore in intertidal areas. It is well known that for a successful fossil hunt that involves surface screening, a trained eye is very important. Your mind has to get used to recognize certain patterns. Once you find one or two fossils, you will start noticing more and more of this kind. So, watching YouTube movies about fossils, you not only learn techniques and locations, but also train the visual part of your mind and prepare yourself for successful future finds. By the way, the species showed in this video were identified using this wonderful book compiled by McKenzie and McClaude and published by the Dallas Paleontology Society as Volume 6 of Occasional Papers. The authors described a few locations and classified their find species by species. We advise you to find this book if you are serious about Carboniferous Fossils of Texas. Here are the pictures of a few localities where the fossils shown in this video were collected. We included photos of fossils as they were found, weathered by heavy rains out of the hills along Texas highways. Try to spot familiar shapes. Let's see how many you can recognize.
These are typical brachiopods, little cuties. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like the video and see other interesting stuff on our channel.